How's it going everyone? Welcome to part 4 in my guide to Alliance Quest Map 6. Now this is the final video where we're going to break down section 3 and help you really make it to the end. Don't run out of time, don't run out of energy, and can really make it to Kang. Kang, once you get to him, he's actually not bad, but we're going to talk about that when we get in the video. So, my name is Kans. thanks for tuning in, let's get started. Alright everyone, here's the map, the final Section 3 map. Same thing as the previous two, there's section requirements, energy efficiency, suggested champions, and of course the big map with all the node descriptions, all the champions on each path, and of course Kang at the end. Now Kang is very much <laughs> easier than he is in, uh, in map 5 because he has power gain, so you can push him to that L1 like every single combo so combo l1 evade combo l1 evade it's very repetitive but it's it's easier than map 5 he just has more health and does more damage if you get hit you can even take him to l2 if you want and, and evade that but it's easier to evade the l1 so let's get started we are going to talk about section requirements now this section has 10 paths everyone needs to be decent health using level 3, level 4 potions because everyone has to do their own path to get through here. Um, it's a tough one so it's we're, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go through it thoroughly. Path 1, the person on there, he's the entire path is po inflicts poison. It's a tough, it's a tough poison path. Uh, majority of the champs are, are fairly easy, they got a lot of health but there's an electro on there. That's just not fair. I mean when you have an electro you, you want to bring a, a, a uh, a suppression, um, defense suppression, like a Black Widow, a Crossbones, an Electra. If it's on a poison path, <laughs> it's, it's just not fair, because you're gonna die. I mean, you could be poison immune, but you're still gonna take the shock damage, and he's got a lot of health. So anyway, path one, poison immune. Path two and three both have caltrips, caltrips, however you want to say it. Uh, that inflict bleed when you evade. So it's best to have someone on both those paths. Who were your bleed immune champions from section two? So your people who were on paths eight and nine would be here. Or if your person who was on path two and brought an Ultron for the, the few poison nodes that they tried to help on, they could be in one of these paths. So that's kind of the, the gist of what we do. The person who's on one and two will likely be on path one and possibly on path two and three in the section. And the people who were your bleed immunes on path eight and nine are probably going to be on one of these uh, couch roots path. Uh, path nine is your power drainer. So you had a power drainer in section one, you had a power drainer in section two. Most likely they're going to be in this path on section three. Uh, so that's path nine. So there's an all or nothing. There's some 200% power gains. And then path 10. Path 10 is just, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, we The guy in my battle group, it just walks over it. And I know I couldn't. Every node is starburst. So you want to make sure you have someone who's either glass cannon or has de uh, a really good regen. Uh, now before patch 12, he brought his Thor. I think he still uses Thor, but Thor could just walk over that. I mean, huge burst damage. Now he still uses Thor, but it's just it, it works. It's just not as good as it used to be. So you want glass cannon to be able to sit in those fights as short as possible or regen just to kind of counteract the starburst has taken effect. Just make, you want to make sure you have a lot of health because the more health, the less it ticks down. If you start the health, if you start the fight out like a quarter health, you're going to find that that fight's going to be over very fast. Uh, so in terms of energy efficiency, uh, let's pan out a little bit. Paths four and five move first because they're your middle ones. That's kind of that's a big key thing in this section. Now there's just like every other uh, AQ, uh, there's a global node at the very end. It used to be kind of kind of tough because it, it had the, the block erosion, but now it's just attack and health for everybody in the map. Uh, you want to zerg the middle, so your people who are starting on paths four and five move immediately. Now other people are required to get there because there's some link nodes that have to sync up, but you want to get them to nodes 110 and 112 as soon as possible, and that's just zerging up the middle and taking out these two on the side. Once people start moving on the side, they'll unlock those 110 and 112. Whoever gets it first, take out the global so everyone else can start moving about. So you want them to move first because they're going to zerg that middle. Next, you're going to have 
So if, if we kind of look in here a little closely. So four and five move first. Then you're going to have your three and your six. And you're just everything's going to kind of fan out. So three and six are going to go because they can start taking out these nodes. Then you're going to have your two and your seven. And then your I think it's your one, your one, two, seven, and nine. Yeah, because four and five, so one and two can go, you know, one and two are going to go there. Seven and nine can go that way, yeah, because you want nine to be able to move down here, or at least ferry the person who's on path ten. Because there's, even these beginning ones, there's some shared starburst nodes. And then, so yeah, we talked about one, two, seven, and nine. And then that leaves eight and ten to move last, because eight's going to fall all the way up here with seven, and then ten can go last. So in, that's it for energy efficiency. I mean, we'll talk about it a little more once we actually get into each individual path. So suggested champions. Path one we talked about, poison immune, uh, or inflicts poison. So bring a poison immune. Uh, good luck with Electro. That's all I can say. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe a, a Captain Marvel would probably be best. A lot of damage there. But then again, you're going to take a lot of damage. So it's, uh, it's not heal block, so maybe Ultron. Ultron would probably be your best case there because then you can get a little regen back. That's probably going to be your best option. Use Ultron for Electro. There you go. Uh, paths 2 and 3 we talked about has the Caltrips, so make sure you have Bleed Immune on those paths. Going to make those go really fast. Now there's some... <laughs> the champions on path 2 and 3 take a lot of hits. We'll get to that. Uh, paths 4 and 5, uh, yeah, the, the Zerg up the middle both have Degeneration. Uh, up the middle and then eventually there's starburst on the side so glass cannons regen I'm in the middle for the zerg I use my crossbones uh, I find it efficiently uh, also I bring x23 so she's usually in the mix there too uh, path 9 power drainer there's your power drainer I mean you can already you can see a clip here there's let's see 200% power gain on black widow 300% power gain on black bull 200% power gain on Thor 300% power gain on Agent Venom. Ridiculous. It was there, where's the all or nothing? Oh, well that's nice. There isn't an all or nothing, but there's some intense power gain. Uh, and we talked about path 10, so regen or, or regeneration champ or glass cannon to get through them starbursts. Uh, like I said, uh, Thor still works. Um, Iron Fist could work good. It's really quick fights. Uh, I would probably use my crossbones uh, to get through and then because he, he's got a big that's another thing too crossbones he has a big health pool he's one of the highest so it's good to have him now for pass one through three there is another ah there's the all or nothing I knew there's an all or nothing in this section there is an all or nothing Doctor Strange right here lovely right right so it's just good to make sure that somebody from pass one through three also have a power drainer it would help tremendously uh, definitely gonna save you the items uh, path 6 through 10 has some shared starburst nodes so basically we do uh, our guy on path 10 has a Thor our guy who typically takes path 7 or 8 also has a Thor so when we start that section the people who are in the innards so your person on path 6 kind of ferries these people up so he'll move to 79 and let either our, our one of our guys with the Thors take that out moves up to 83 one of the guys with the Thors takes it out and then six seven and eight can move up for nine and ten the person on nine moves them up to UC person on ten takes them out moves them up to miles person on ten takes them out and then that way person on path ten can keep moving and the person on nine can move along with his intense power gain nodes uh, so yeah let's talk about the paths <laughs> so we have right off the start Kamala Khan poison Rhino poison there's that lovely electro poison uh, mags you see jugs vision poison <laughs> there's another good one too uh, Luke Cage poison and on top of that I completely forgot this all or nothing Doctor Strange poison <laughs> so not only are you got to figure out a way around that but uh, I don't even know. It's not like you can even bring Magneto to, to with, you know, to block some of that damage. You're still gonna get poisoned. It's crazy. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there's path one. Uh, 
path two and three. They sh uh, starting here, you have a decent. Where's he at? Yeah, starting with the jugs is the caltrip. So the jugs to the Thor to the Rhino, then Daredevil. He's this this guy right here. This, he's a tough one. Colossus, 200% uh, attack, enhanced armor, and caltrips. He takes a ton of hits. I've seen some of the, the screenshots of some of the guys in my alliance who actually end up fighting him on that path. Ridiculous the amount of uh, hits they have to do to knock him down. Um, then you have Vision and this Jugs with also Caltrips and the Limber. Now these used to also be um, immune. So all not only were these guys stun immune, you also had the Caltrips. So <laughs> tons of evading. So that's why I made you, you really need bleed immune. But they removed the... Uh, the stun immune and everything is now limber. So yeah, it, they're they're tough fights. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, so four and five, not too bad. Just a lot of degen. So yellow jacket degen, black bolt uh, degen. You get to uh, scarlet witch. She starts starburst. Over here to crossbones, he has degen. Over here to civil warrior, he should have starburst. No, he's degen. Sorry. And then DGen on the mags, DGen on the, the UC. We'll get to how to really, the best way to open up the, that middle, the global. But let's finish going through these paths. So, path six, some random nodes, enhanced L2, but easily avoidable. Let's see, strike back combo shield, not too bad. So just don't get hit, parry and block like normal. Enhanced L1, enhanced L2, enhanced fury, evade, or just be out of range. Uh, the, those fights aren't too bad. They're, they're, that's a fairly easy, probably the easiest path in the section. Uh, moving on to seven, <clears throat> you have a daredevil, nothing crazy. Uh, checkmate, combo shield, jugs, not bad. Um, but then you have an electro, so it'd be nice if somebody who's on path seven also has a black widow or a crossbones or somebody to handle him. Then we get over to path eight where you have mags, miles. Enhanced cell one, enhanced cell two. Nothing crazy. Uh, you can evade it. You can evade it. Miles at the L one. You just gonna have to eat it and block. Uh, now you can't block it. Let me think. Miles L one. He throws out a web first. It's not like sp it's a little different. I don't fight. I'm not on that path. I don't fight Miles too often. Because when you're fighting Spidey on an unblockable you can just evade the webs and you'll be fine he'll stay back and not even worry about it same thing with black spidey uh, but miles is a little different I can't remember if he melees first and then throws the webs if that's true just sit there and block at a range but I don't think that's the case I think I think he throws webs at you first and it's a little harder so a daredevil would be nice there it would be nice alright now for path 9 so Power start one, nothing crazy, but he's gonna <laughs> having him at power start one. He's gonna go darn near to an L3, so you have to literally bait right away as soon as you start that fight. Uh, Black Widow just attacking health plague mine, um, but power gain, power gain, power gain. So power drain, power drain, power drain. Uh, Hawkeye, Vision. Scarlet work, Scarlet work, Scarlet Witch works well. And then here's your Starburst. I mean, look, look at this. So we start here, Starburst. <laughs> Starburst and Optimist, Starburst and Pessimist. Starburst enhanced ability, so that means lots of armor. Starburst enhanced abilities, lots of evading. Starburst Optimist, more health. <laughs> Starburst combo shield and checkmate, nothing crazy. Uh, enhanced abilities just means no stunning her. Starburst, Outlast, and Optimist. That's a tough node. You can't stun her, and she's got a ton of health. That's a tough node. All right, so the last thing we want to talk about is how to zerg the middle. So as soon as you start, people on four and five, we talked about this, up the middle. Now, the, you're going to need to, the person on path one, or the person or the person on path one and two, or you're going to need, let me see what node opens it over here. It is this fella. Yeah, that's why it's not that bad. So either you have the person on one or two, because 81 unlocks 90, 90 unlocks 112. Or you just have 94 unlocking 110, but that means these people have to wrap around to get to it. 
that's right there's this one okay so you need your person on you on nine and ten your person on seven or eight because they have to in unlock 84 to unlock 94 to unlock 110 so in both cases you need one of the outer paths the next inner paths to unlock one of those nodes in the you only need one side open so whoever's available and whoever can take it so if you have the person you have the person available on path one and either two or three can get in there they'll unlock 112 for your person that's going to be on path five or if you have one of your nine and tens and one of your seven and eights they can go up and unlock those two so the person on 110 on path four can knock that out and then as soon as that global goes down it's all out uh, yeah and then then Kang uh, like I said he he has power gains so he'll push him to L1 fast he's unblockable but you're evading the L1 anyway he has limber if you're pushing him to L1s you're not gonna need to parry him that often yeah if you get hit by him it's pretty much game over but I mean most folks should be used to fighting Kang by now that it's gonna be a fairly easy fight uh, we get once we get to Kang it's it's done usually it's getting those those last few nodes like the Doctor Strange down um, or these these paths over here because this all the way to the boss yeah this Black Widow right here all the way links up to here up to Kang so that's section three uh, Again, I hope you find these uh, these maps useful. Uh, I know I do. It's nice to, to come to one spot and see all the link nodes, see all the node descriptions, see who I'm going to be fighting. So, I mean, whenever, if I change up the assignments, I come to these and I can see, okay, I'm going to be fighting X, Y, and Z champs, so I'm going to bring these champs because they counter them better. Uh, this way I don't have to look at a map, go to a website to see the link no or to see the, the node descriptions, go to a spreadsheet to see who should move first or suggested champions or what's on each path so I hope everybody enjoys these uh, like I said I have the link to my Google Drive in the description um, they're also on the info bot so search AQ6 and uh, if you have any troubles contact me and I can send them to you directly uh, yeah so th this has been a fun series to talk about because Map 6 is actually really fun. Uh, one thing to for all alliances to kind of, if you're just starting, confidence. Uh, don't be scared of Map 6. Map 6 is not that bad. Uh, we do it day one, we do it, oh, we've done it day two before, uh, we haven't had to go any further. Yes, the, the nodes are tough, but it's, it's like a long alliance war. I mean, everybody has unique abilities, but it's just, it's, if you got skill, you'll be fine. Um, don't be afraid it's not that bad uh, it's just make one big thing make sure you have enough people with black widows and crossbones you want to have at least well, I'd say probably about four to push through those spidey one and spidey two if you have nobody bringing if you have like one or two people bringing black widow you're gonna have a tough time with the spidey bosses so that'll do it guys uh, this is yeah I hope you enjoyed this series uh, leave me a comment on some feedback uh, if there's anything else you want me to talk about with map 6 let me know and uh, yeah enjoy these maps it's been fun talking about them guys uh, my name's Cons uh, I'll see you guys in another video later